Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, Jimmy. My name is Gary Johnson, and I'll be the moderator for tonight's debate on pharmaceutical best practices. Let's get started, shall we? Mr. President, please share your thoughts on the problem of adverse drug events. Thanks, Gary, and good evening, America. The number of medications available today is staggering, and with my awesome health care plan, it's easier than ever to experience an adverse drug event. Unfortunately, I have to agree with the President. According to a study of older adults taking five or more medications, 63% required physician intervention, 35% experienced adverse effects, 11% were hospitalized, and 10% required an emergency room visit. This can be prevented, though. The more a patient understands his or her medication and the more he or she speaks with the health care provider, the easier it is to avoid potential adverse events. Ron is on the right track here. That is why we are seeing an emergence of drug management therapy programs, ultimately so we can avoid binders full of women. I mean, binders full of adverse events. So can the candidates identify best practices in drug therapy management? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the CVS Caremark program. They were recognized for their industry best practice with regard to drug therapy management. The idea isn't new, Mr. President, but they were the first to really capitalize on it and implement it into their operations. Speaking of capitalism, it's saving them tons of money, too. That's good free market economics. And the Fed! Thanks, Ron. Don't forget that the whole point is to prevent poor drug therapy outcomes, not promote Obamacare. Mr. Ryan, can you please tell us more about this Caremark program? Roar! It's a springing power of attorney. Roar! Marty, hurry up! Where's my stuff? Um, that was awkward. So, back to the debate. Thanks for asking, Gary. The goal of the CVS Caremark Drug Therapy Management Program is to improve the outcomes of drug therapy by providing patients with access to trained pharmacists for individual medication counseling. That's true. The program allows those patients with complex pharmacy needs to receive individualized counseling to help identify any potential issues with compliance, efficacy, dosing, and interactions. True, Hillary. And CVS Caremark utilizes a comprehensive electronic pharmacy record to maintain patient information and for information transfer for their HMO records. That's exactly why we've mandated the electronic health record in my health care plan. Great points by the candidates tonight. Are there any other studies that complement or reinforce CVS's findings? Absolutely, Gary. My expert team will fill you in on the details just in case someone is fact-checking. <laughs> it's a good thing Mitt's not here. Ha ha. Good one, Mr. President. In my opinion, the most notable study was by the American College of Clinical Pharmacy. In this report, pharmacists said that drug therapy management programs are the way of the future for individuals taking multiple drugs. Right, Gary. Another good one's the Minnesota experiment. Recently, a two-factor ANOVA test with multivariate regression analysis showed that 637 drug therapy programs res were resolved among 285 intervention patients. Are you familiar with that one, Hillary? Most definitely. The percentage of therapy goals achieved increased from 76% to 90%, and HEDIS measures improved in the intervention group. We're a long way from horses and bayonets. This is great information from tonight's candidates. Let's shift our focus from supporting research to the specifics of Caremark program and what makes it so great. Ron, let's start with you. Thanks, Gary. The direct focus of the CVS program is on patient medication outcomes, customer service, and interactions between the patient and the pharmacist as the cornerstone of the drug therapy management program. We've gotten so good with some of these medications that it's not uncommon for people, especially as they're getting older, to be on multiple meds. They may be seeing multiple doctors, and Dr. A may not know what Dr. B has prescribed. So the older people get, the more they become kind of a walking time bomb of a medication disaster. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we've run out of time. I'd like to thank all of the candidates for tonight's spirited debate on pharmaceutical best practices. Good night, America. Stay classy, Army Baylor. And we leave you with a message from tonight's sponsor. Hi, I'm Erica Shepard, and I'm a CVS pharmacist. Welcome to the Health Answers section of CVS.com. I know I speak for every CVS pharmacist when I say that your health is our first priority. And we understand that sometimes you'll have questions on how best to care for yourself and your loved ones. 
we're devoted to answering all your health questions. Here you'll find a series of videos covering a broad range of health issues. Each video answers common health questions in simple terms, giving you the information you need to make the right decisions on everything from the common cold to taking medications properly. We hope these videos will help you care for yourself and the ones you love. And remember, your CVS pharmacist is always there to help. Just ask.